Palmer is on his way to Paris today for a climate change summit. And this week, he linked that to the war on terror. Take a look. What a powerful rebuke to the terrorists it will be when the world stands as one and shows that we will not be deterred from building a better future for our children. Your reaction to the summit and to the contention by some in the Obama administration that climate change is, if not the biggest, certainly the most immediate threat to our national security. Well, that's delusional. It is delusional for President Obama and Hillary Clinton and anyone else to say that climate change is our near-term most severe security threat. It is ISIS, period, followed closely by Iran and perhaps Russia. Uh, President Obama continues to think that somehow our behavior causes terrorism. So he says the climate change summit is a powerful rebuke. No, it's not. The terrorists don't care that we're gathering in Paris other than it provides a target. Just as he said, well, Republicans are giving terrorists a recruiting tool and we don't think Syrian refugees are allowed to enter this country if we cannot properly vet them. President Obama is delusional about this. He's delusional about the threat, which apparently is why he won't do anything about it. Do you think it's worthwhile for him to go to Paris, to go to this international summit and try to work out emissions limits? Well, look, if you read the fine print of the science, what the scientists tell us, all those scientists who say climate change is real and man-made, they also tell us that a single nation acting alone can make no difference at all, that it will take a concerted global effort over 30 years costing trillions of dollars. I think the likelihood of that is near zero. So no, I don't think it's particularly productive. I think it would be far more productive if President Obama instead was there leading an international coalition to stop human trafficking, or an international coalition for humanitarian relief for the refugees, or an international coalition to defeat ISIS. All of those things would be more useful than time in Paris spent talking about climate change.